<laughs> I'm growing way too powerful, I can't be stopped. Not only do I love snapshots, but I love music too. I can practically name every single piece of music in existence, and the developers know this. My ritual. <laughs> My ritual. It's worked. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, snapshot day 22w16 8 today. We're gonna check it out We still don't know for sure, but it definitely feels like the wild update is getting really close Subscribe so you don't miss what I have coming. So 22w16 8. What are we looking at? We have a brand new music disc called five and a brand new mechanic to get this music disc. It's pretty sweet We're also looking at a big handful of ally changes some random changes some frog spawning changes and a frog light change, too let's start with the frog i kind of feel bad for these things i feel like they're so like underappreciated there was so much hype around these things at first and then it's like frog what even happened so the frog the frog can spawn on some new blocks now muddy mangrove roots mangrove roots grass block moss carpet and mud which hey speaking of that everything series episode number two it was on mud did you know these things are super useful for farms check it out after this video those changes are basically going to mean the frog has more options to spawn inside of the mangrove swamp biome, which is hopefully going to make them more common. I've been checking it out and haven't found very much there, to be honest. Next up, frog light change. The frog light is now movable by pistons. That's it. That's the change. Let's talk about music. This snapshot, the big focus here is music this week. We love to see it too. In the snapshot, we have a brand new music disc. This music disc, look at this thing. It's all like wardened out and everything. It's so cool looking. So check this out. The music disc's name is disc number five. It's by Sam. New music disc, you know what time it is. Get your drink, take a seat. I'm absolutely loaded up on white claws, as you can tell right now. New music disc, disc five. What does it sound like? Here it goes. That's the perfect spot to stop. New Music Fridays are my favorite day of the week. It's even better when they come inside of Minecraft on a Wednesday, but we're not going to listen to the full disc here. If you want to hear the full disc, uh, maybe the second channel. Or if I don't put it there, jump into the snapshot, check it out, or I'm sure somebody else will put it on YouTube too. So this is kind of interesting. This disc is named number five. Other numbers we have in the game, we have 11, we have 13. 11 is the ruined disc. It's uh, like really creepy sounding, kind of telling a story, kind of like five sounding like. And then number 13, we have this one right here. I mean, it's like kind of chill, but like, I don't know, these chill things, they kind of give me like really eerie vibe. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Terrifying. This thing is terrifying. Hmm, kind of interesting. What does it mean? Does it mean something? Does it mean nothing at all? I'm not too sure. You make up your mind. Now, getting music disc five is completely different than the other ones. So usually with the other ones, you go into your world and find them. To get music disc number five, you need to get a disc fragment or nine of them, and you craft them inside of the crafting table. Now, where do you find these disc fragments? Well, maybe somewhat predictably. Of course, it's the wild update. We have these gigantic ancient cities, which people have been saying it needs more loot. Well, uh, more loot fans, today is your day. So I haven't checked this part of the snapshot out quite yet. I want to fly around the ancient city, just open up some of these random loot chests in here and see how common these disc fragments are. I'll definitely be testing this a little bit more. I'm thinking that these disc fragments are probably not going to be very common. I mean, music disc, kind of like a big deal, kind of the point of this thing. Another chest number three, nothing. Another chest number four, mm, nothing. This city, absolutely, 100%. Oh, that's a lot of shriekers. This city is absolutely new, though check that out actually four right there wow we're like almost halfway there the ice box could we possibly find it inside of the ice box not a chance right yeah so yeah the normal music is like the solid thing itself is not inside of any loot table it's only the disc fragments if you can find all the fragments then i guess it's like kind of a flex or something there's supposed to be a chest up here where is it 
Never mind, there it is. Any disc fragments here? Nope. I would love to see if instead of one ancient city, we could basically find enough disc fragments to be able to craft the music disc. So like find the ancient city one time and then you're done. Mm, there's another one right there. That's five so far. All we need is four more. I mean, it could be cool if things work that way, but at the same time, it's like maybe an incentive to keep finding more and more ancient cities. I don't know. It could be kind of cool. Uh, three more right there. We only need one more. Final one, final one, final one, final ones right there. We have over nine inside of one city. Can you craft the brand new music disc from one single ancient city? The answer is yes, most definitely. Now the new music disc isn't the only new track inside of the snapshot. We're not really gonna listen to the other ones, but they are on Spotify if you wanna check them out. You know how it is, I'm Spotify gang, so I'll try and remember to drop a link to the Wild Update EP on Spotify down in the description. The track names that are in the game are Ancestry, Airy, Firebugs, and Labyrinth. Aside from the new music disc, the other tracks that have been added are tracks that you will hear in game when you're like walking around the overworld exploring, you know, just enjoying life, you know, things like that. I love this disc fragment concept though, it's really cool. Would love to see this done in the future with other structures too. I mean like, imagine something like Pigstab, you find the Bastion, you have to look all over this thing, like stay in and hang out to find more music discs, so you can listen to Pigstab, so you can see the Piglins dance. Ah, oh, that would be so cool. This week's snapshot brings some changes to the predictability of certain events in the game. Now, a warning, Redstone community, these things are kind of Redstone related. Uh, hopefully you don't get too upset about these ones this time. <laughs> so, uh, the predictability of things is like a little bit more predictable. For example, things shot out of or placed by dispensers, uh, velocity and everything like that should be a little bit more predictable. I think essentially that's going to mean like droppers are maybe a little bit more consistent out or something. Uh, same thing with arrows and where they're being shot should be a little bit more predictable. Less randomness going on here. Firework rockets. Oh man, they're wild sometimes. This time, uh, they're going to be a little bit less wild. Absolutely no pun intended. I just realized what I said. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, there wasn't a wild update pun. The velocity of items shot from containers when the containers are broken is also a little bit more predictable now. The follow range for mobs has been made a little bit more predictable. The velocity of skeleton horses when they're spawned on the whole skeleton horse thing, that's a little bit more predictable. Blaze projectiles, those things are now a little bit more predictable. And at this point, maybe you called it, but guess what has happened to the fishing rod bobber and how long it takes you to fish? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Let's move on. In this week's snapshot, we're looking at some alley changes. In this week's snapshot, the health has been doubled to 20 total health. Now, if you can remember, in the last snapshot, it has regeneration too, which is pretty cool. Now, the alley's movement speed has been changed. When it's wandering, it's going to be a little bit slower versus when it's picking up items. Uh, so, my guy, I'm not going to be able to reach you up there. It's fine, you were just a piece of the machine, totally replaceable. So, new alley right there, we give the alley an item, and then there's some items on the ground. The alley should be a little bit quicker there, that's nice. Its item detection range has been increased from 9 blocks to 32 blocks. That's huge, that's a big change. Uh, go ahead and pick those up, alley, uh, maybe over there. Mm, nope, nope, there we go, and look at how quick it is. Oh, that's definitely noticeable, this thing is moving really quick. Uh, yes please? Oh man, I, I love the noises. The noises that the alley makes are great, and wait. Is that advancement thing different too? Like, I mean, obviously I knew that advancement was new, but is that pop-up different? Um, am I crazy? Oh no, maybe it's just that one. It's probably just that one, okay. Well, anyways, finishing up the alley, the delay after item throw time has been lowered from 5 seconds to 3 seconds now, and the throw arc has been changed following community feedback. Alley changes in the snapshot, that's it. Let's take a quick look at the technical changes in 22W16A. This is what we're looking at right here. Some changes to paintings right there, which is kind of cool, including some unused paintings. Definitely going to have to check those out. And then finally, bug fixes. Man, uh, it really, really feels like the wild update is getting close. It would not surprise me at all if like a pre-release or something is on the way soon. But among all of the changes inside of 22W16A, that's it. Thank you all for watching the Snapshot Showcase. If you made it to this point in the video, you are literally my best friend, so thank you. If you haven't left a like, leave a like, subscribe for more videos, links in the description, playlists on the end card. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.